I've been painting for nearly 15 years. I've been a journalist all my life, a word person, but one of my daughters was very interested in art as early as elementary school. And frankly, I used to watch her and I would say to myself, if she can do it, why can't I? And the way I view painting is that it's a lot like play. When you were a child, you didn't come in and say, I had a bad day playing. You just played. There was no winner or loser. I would like to think the hallmarks of a, a St. George painting would be a sense of, of freedom, a sense of fun, a sense of honesty. So I took my portfolio to, a, as we say, a real art gallery. And the owner was very dismissive, but he saw a sketch I'd done of high heel shoes. And he said, George, high heel shoes are very marketable. Would you paint large canvases for me of high heel shoes? That set me off on a path of, of obsessively painting shoes for about a year. They provoked a reaction from people, and I could see that it was, it was a fun thing that people liked to look at. I, I was like a child with a coloring book. Um, I was painting inside the lines of the shoes. But then after a year or so, I began to give myself the freedom to, to go wild with, with the canvas. And for better or for worse, I get bored easily. I will have fun painting animals, tigers, roosters, dogs, and I'll get bored. And then I'll go into a phase where all I want to do is people's faces and do that for a while and get bored. You'll notice that a lot of the paintings, particularly the ones that are square, have a border that's abstract. I mean, there'll be a central image that's realistic. With many of the paintings, what I'll do on the first day would be to paint an abstract border without having any idea what the central image will be. And then I will decide what kind of realistic image to put in the middle. And that might be influenced by the, the colors that are on the, the frame. I, I like that element of, of chance. Just like when you're a child, you go out to play, you don't know whether you're gonna build a fort or throw acorns or, or run around. Over a period of 20 or 30 years, I, I used to tear pages out of magazines. If you look at the tiger paintings, those are, are very close to what the photograph was, but many of the other things, you, you would have no idea what the photograph was because I've, I, I've, I've changed it in various ways, either because I lack talent or because I want to modify it. You, you can't tell that. Maybe it's like a, a blues song. The roughness is good, the rawness is good. You don't want it to be perfect. Maybe you can't even make it perfect. If you're not in the moment, what will happen is you'll start to try too hard. And, and you'll you'll see, oh, this is wrong, this is bad, and you'll get obsessed with fixing something. And what you have to train yourself to do is when you start to feel that, stop. I paint under the name St. George because my work is divine, I suppose. <laughs>